All right, y'all. I feel like I just had a, a moment of self-growth. And if you're new to this channel, hi, my name is Liana. And if you are a existing subscriber, then welcome back. And I am happy you are here because today I'm going to be speaking about something that I have struggled with almost all of my life. And today I felt like I needed to speak about this topic because it was something that I just realized in myself that I've never done before. Because I am a person who acts on impulse in every single situation in my life. Like when it comes to lack of patience, when it comes to indulging in food, when it comes to spending on things that I don't need. Impulse in a way that is not healthy. And recently I've been having so much awareness in myself that I have to think before I act. I have to think before I respond to a situation. When someone says something negative to me or when someone does something that I might think is hurtful, maybe they don't see it, but it allows me to just step back and think, okay, if I act on my emotions right now, I'm going to give a response that might hurt the other person because of how I feel. But instead, taking a step back, think about the situation, calm yourself down, and then give a response. And never act on someone else's energy towards you. If someone's rude to you, do not be rude back. If someone doesn't take you seriously, don't think, okay, I'm gonna say something hurtful to you. If someone disrespects you, don't disrespect them back. Be the person who takes a step back, thinks to themselves and understands, I have so much self-control because I am able to control my emotions, control my mind, my thoughts, when I could just act and give you the same response and the same reaction and I can be rude right back to you. And patience has to be built. You have to go through situations in your life that may be hard and might seem hard in the moment, but how would you build the patience if you weren't put through a situation that was going to test your patience? That could be with people, that could be with work, that could be with finances, that can be with family. How are you supposed to build patience if you want patience, if you're not gonna go through tests that are there to test your patience? And patience comes in many different forms, many different forms. And I was that person. I was the girl who acted on impulse and, you know, was disrespected and I would disrespect right back. And I didn't like who I was as a person. I didn't, it wasn't nice. So whenever you feel like you're trying to work on your patience in every single thing, maybe it's something you wish for, right? A career that you've been looking forward to or whatever your goals are. All these things are testing your strength, being in control of your mind. And that is a powerful tool. Self-awareness, patience, controlling your mind, all of these things are powerful tools that you are going to be able to impact for the rest of your life. A situation happens in your life and it seems like, you know, a hardship or you're struggling with something, patience building patience, all these things that are happening to you in your life, whatever it is, the thing that is teaching you patience in your life right now, that is there to build you. You're gonna look back and be like, I am proud of myself for overcoming that and being patient throughout that trial, like trial as in like hardship, because now I am the person who I am today. Sometimes you have to envision the person you wanna be and be that person, act like that person. It's not faking it. If you wanna be the powerful, strong, independent person, then you have to start acting like it. And I had to start acting like it. It's so weird. Y'all, I was literally like crazy to the point where like, I couldn't control my mind. 
I would listen to all the voices in my head. But I really do believe if you start to look at everything that's happening that's testing your patience and allow it to build you instead of bring you down, you are going to be so powerful. So powerful. And today I had that moment where I was patient. I could have responded to a situation and been mad. And especially like if you're building up things inside and then someone upsets you, it's like one thing comes out and then everything else that you've been holding inside comes out on top of that. So to be able to control your emotions and suppress it and communicate in a way that is going to be way more productive and beneficial to get to you know a solution with whatever it is, think, okay, how can I communicate this? How can I be calm? Because being calm is going to help you get further than acting on impulse and doing things with like an erratic like mind and you're just like going crazy. And I used to do that. So that is why patience is everything, everything in your life. And you have to be aware in yourself when you don't have patience, think about it. Think about a situation where you feel like you've acted on impulse. I'll give you a second. Okay, if you would have responded to that situation differently and you were calm and you didn't overthink, don't you think there would have probably been a better solution or you overcame it anyways in a way that was way more beneficial for the problem, whatever that problem was? If you just had the patience, a better response, a better reaction, and yeah, because we're human. We will make mistakes. We will say things that we don't mean. We will do things in certain situations that we regret later on, all because we didn't have patience. But that's okay, accept it, move on from it. Understand where you went wrong and next time you act in a different way. And I did that today. When in reality, if it was like, you know, a different situation, I would have flipped out, bruh. I would have literally been like, so mad. And I would have let it affect my whole day. And then whenever we are not patient, we allow that to affect us even more, bring us even further back when we should act calm, move forward, build the strength and move forward. Don't let it bring us down. It should make us even stronger. And so if you have been trying to get better at being patient, the fact that you are watching this video right now is self-awareness. You're aware in yourself that you want more patience and you will have more patience, but you need to have the mindset of thinking before you react and understand that there's always a solution that is better than acting on how you feel emotionally. So I hope you enjoyed this video and um, I love you all so much. Make sure you subscribe because we post every single Sunday, currently in LA right now. I'm here because I needed to just get my life together in a way. I was planning with my team and I also just, I needed a different environment. I don't like to like switch environments, but I was struggling with creativity for a minute, but I feel like I'm I'm becoming a woman that I feel like is truly me and I'm finally believing in myself in full, which if you lack confidence in your life in many different ways, like lack of self-belief, sometimes you'll hold yourself back when you should just really be putting yourself out there in certain situations but you have to be the one to do it. You have to believe in yourself. Yeah, so um, I'm out here and just like getting a clean, clean mind, clear mind. Yeah, I will see you in the next video on Sunday. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Mwah.